Uh, I've known Gunner for about three years now. So I knew him in, way back in Physics 2. And he sat in the back. And he, he seemed like he was unassuming. He was really relaxed. He had his, his friends that were all around him. Uh, yeah, and they, they would make, kind of make jokes in the back as I was, I was talking, or they would just have a good time back there. <laughs> but they knew their physics. They were getting A's and B's on their test. So I didn't mind. So I just, I just let it go. Uh, if you don't know, Gunner was like the top, I would say the top 5% of his class. And I've taught about uh, maybe 300 cadets or so. So that, that's saying a lot. I've also taught advanced cadets, which were in the top uh, 1% of his class. I saw them going on, on the stage. And I believe that Gunner is just as good, if not better, than, than all of them. I really do believe that. Um, it is really in, in, uh, in saying that, I have to give you at least one example of, of what I saw. So, picture this, we're talking about Doppler effects. Oh. We're talking about sounds, and it, it sound bounces off, and it comes back, and whether people can hear it or not. Well, Gunner, he says, sir, I got, I got this cool mnemonic. So, DTS means, because everybody hates DTS, you're going to make a negative sign. And then you said, what, do you, what happens when you're sad? Well, you need to be positive. I was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. And then I started going through the equation and making sure it was right. Sure enough, Gunner had already figured out something that I could use, and I continue to use that for like a year. So that's the type of uh, uh, ingenuity that we got with, with your son here. Additionally, I got to tell you one more story, which really kind of impressed our family. Um, Gunner and Garrett, they were, <laughs> some cadets decided they wanted to have a food fight. So they had this food fight, food was all over the place. It was a complete mess. Do you think that they sat back and watched the cleaning crew clean that up? Nope. Him and Garrett worked tirelessly to clean that whole place up. And then here they were, firsties. They're, they could outrank anybody there, all the cadets there, and they sat there and waited till every last spiel was done. That's the type of leader that you have in front of you today. And I really feel honored and privileged to commission you today. So thank you for allowing me this opportunity to do that. And thank you for sharing Gunner with us in our, in our family as well. So without further ado, we're going to post the order. Attention to orders. The Secretary of the Army proposed special trust and confidence the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Gunnar Patterson, and I do appoint him second lieutenant, aviation, U.S. Army, active duty, on this 25th day of May, 2019. So it takes a little bit, but once you learn it, you're good. You're good for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Signed Dr. Mark T. Esper, Secretary of the Army. And now 
What's gonna happen is he's gonna render his first salute. At this time, we do the oath, all right? The oath is a special thing that we do every single time that we get promoted, from major to captain, I'm sorry, from captain to major to lieutenant colonel to colonel, even uh, to general officer. So we're gonna do the oath, but what I would like, since you are his family and you've been standing behind him every step of the way, I want you to get behind him as we administer the oath together. All right, raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your name. I, Gunnar Blake Patterson. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. Against all enemy, enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true, true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I take this obligation freely. And I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. I present to you, Lieutenant Gunnar Patterson. All right, Gunnar, the, the floor is yours. I'm not really... Uh, too big on the whole uh, improvisation uh, thing. I just want to thank you guys all for being out here. I know a lot of you guys came super long way. Uh, my family I know is a little bit smaller. I want to thank you guys for coming out and taking this time to be here. I know you guys work really long schedules and taking time off work is pretty difficult for you guys, but um, I really do appreciate any of the time. Garrett, Ryan, thank you guys for being my roommates. I know sometimes it was forced, uh, but you know, you guys for the past three years were definitely like people to help get me through the academy without you guys i i don't think i'd be standing here so thank you guys thank you thank you all for coming appreciate it i'll see if i can get through this this is my grandson oh, wow. 57 years after i been in Hospital. Close Attention to orders. The Secretary of the Army reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Garrett E. Plant. And I do appoint him Second Lieutenant Infantry, U.S. Army Active Duty on this 25th day of May 2019. Signed, Dr. Mark T. Esper, Secretary of the Army. Oh, you're so cool. 
Cheat sheet. It's been a while. Raise your right hand. I. State your name. I. Uh, Garrett Edward Plant. To solemnly swear. To solemnly swear. To support and defend the Constitution. To support and defend the Constitution. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I will bear true faith. I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. I take this obligation freely. I take this obligation freely. Without any mutual re mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that i will well and that i will well and faithfully and faithfully discharge, discharge the, duties the duties of the office of which i am about to enter. of the office of which i am about to enter so help me god so help me god lieutenant grandpa Yeah, thank you everybody for coming out. We had a lot of people from back home, which was awesome. Long ways to travel. Uh, if you guys both see you know me, like this has been a dream for a long time. Uh, it's a long time coming, a long road. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad we're finally here. Uh, wish Dad could be here today, but I mean, he's here in spirit. We got his flag that we're using behind us. So I know he's up there looking down on us. So, uh, so we'll be all right. And a lot of history is in this uniform too. Uh, the bar that I have on my beret, uh, was actually the same bar that Grandpa used for his second lieutenant bars, uh, engraved with his commission year and my commission year, uh, as well as my dad's name tape uh, and his infantry rifles uh, from his uniform, which I'll carry with me throughout my time. So I'm extremely excited to start my new career. Thank you guys all for coming out. Uh, without further ado, let's take some pictures. I actually uh, met Ryan during his freshman year at a track meet um, I was sitting in the bleachers and I heard a voice behind me talking grandly about the academies and all about the academies, this, that, and the other thing, and I happened to have graduated from the Air Force Academy, so I heard that and I kind of chuckled to myself and said, well, that's, that is a mother that either is tired of her child not making the bed every single day, or she really wants him or her to have a job when finishes the college and can go straight out and not come home and live at home. Um, and uh, so I listened in and I kind of chuckled to myself and stuff like that because um, a lot of times moms and dads, what they want for their kids is not necessarily what the kids want for themselves. And coming to a military academy is not for everybody, absolutely not. And I would not recommend it to a person unless they have the, the right stuff. And uh, so over the years, uh, in Ryan's high school, I did get to know him better and better, and slowly kind of realized that uh, he does have the right stuff. When I think of Ryan, I kind of think, have you ever seen those uh, little placards that have, I don't know, it says um, honor, and that has a little saying about it, and has an <laughs> inspiring picture of someone there climbing a mountain or yeah, something yeah. like that? <laughs> they're, they're a little bit corny, but yet they're, they're inspiring at the same time. It's almost like you can kind of sense that someone's gonna make fun of it, but yet you really, you're kind of proud of having it there at the same time. And I think the one that probably describes Ryan the most would be perseverance. Um, Ryan went to a high school that is easily the, the toughest in the state as far as academically. Uh, extremely difficult, it's probably one of the top 20 high schools in the country academically, it's very, very difficult. And he persevered through all that. Um, and getting into the academy was no small challenge. There were uh, lots and lots of things that he needed to 
hurdles to, to jump and he just kept going the whole way. And obviously to get through four years of West Point um, speaks for itself. So um, those are my impressions of Ryan. And again, thinking back to what makes a good cadet um, absolutely follows into what's going to make a great officer. And I'm, I'm happy to, to be here to, to welcome him into uh, to feel the blue. Okay. Now we'll start with the uh, dad. The attention to orders. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Cadet Ryan W. Blunt. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, he is therefore commissioned in the United States Air Force at the rank of Second Lieutenant effective the 25th day of May 2019. Signed, Heather Wilson, Secretary of the Air Force. I state your name. Hi, Ryan William Blunt. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having <laughs> been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. You solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I think uh, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. And I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. This is a long four years coming, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, thank you to my mom and my dad. Every step of the way, they've been there for me. It's been incredible. Uh, <laughs> I can put out. Uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, Gunner and Garrett for just <laughs> keeping me humble. I think I'm funny, but I'm really not. <laughs> thank you for my whole family for being out here. I appreciate it. Yep. <laughs> that's all good. Yeah, right. <laughs>